today let's talk about alcohol poisoning and alcohol poisoning is very common due to the presence of toxic alcohols in our household items and these toxic alcohols include methanol ethylene glycol and isopropranolol they can be consumed in adulterated counterfeit alcoholic drinks or as a substitute to ethanol especially in alcoholics when they can't find alcohol and they can also be consumed in accidental incidents for example when children get hold of household goods such as detergents and bleaches first i'll be talking about methanol methanol is naturally found in fruit juices and fermented drinks and it is also present in beer in concentrations of about 6 to 27 mg per liter and in concentrations of 10 to 220 mg per liter in spirits and in these concentrations it is not harmful high concentrations of methanol are found in illicit brews which are normally not regulated and their alcohol content is not determined and one thing we have to know about methanol is that it is rapidly absorbed once taken it's rapidly absorbed in the intestines and methanol is metabolized by the same enzyme as ethanol which is alcohol dehydrogenase to form formaldehyde in the liver formaldehyde is further broken down by aldehyde dehydrogenase to form formic acid which is very toxic the blood concentrations of formaldehyde or formic acid if they are greater than 500 mg per liter this may lead to severe toxicity and once the concentrations are between 1500 to 2000 mg per liter it may result in coma or even death one will present with eye disturbances as formic acid accumulates in the optic nerve and this may result in photophobia which is just fear of bright light like the light might not be so bright but you might feel like it's so bright and you don't want light one may also have some blurred vision or even in some situations there have been people who have completely lost their vision one may also experience drowsiness confusion headaches and nausea and vomiting may occur one of the major dangers of is the occurrence of heart failure or respiratory failure these are the major causes of coma and even death its management involves the use of ethanol and this is because alcohol dehydrogenase the enzyme that is involved in metabolism of both methanol and ethanol has a higher affinity for ethanol than methanol this minimizes the formation of formic acid which is toxic and ethanol is given intravenously to maintain 100 to 150 mg per deciliter blood concentration The ethanol is also co-administered with folic acid and the folic acid helps accelerate the form form conversion sorry the conversion of folic acid to carbon dioxide and water which is naturally produced by the body and is excreted In severe cases of metabolic acidosis bicarbonate may be given The second toxic alcohol I'll be talking about is ethylene glycol and once ingested it's rapidly absorbed in the gi in the gastrointestinal tract and some of the signs and symptoms one may show can begin within as early as 30 minutes after once ingestion of the alcohol ethylene glycol is metabolized by alcohol dehydrogenase to form glycoaldehyde which is acted upon by aldehyde dehydrogenase to form glycolic acid which is further broken down to glycoxylic acid then oxalic acid and these acids are very toxic to the body all these metabolites are directly toxic to the kidney the heart the lung and the central nervous system treatment of ethylene glycol poisoning involves the use of 
an ethanol infusion where you just give ethanol intravenously and the who has also approved the use of 4 methyl pyrazole which is an inhibitor of alcohol dehydrogenase which is the enzyme that is involved in breaking down of ethylene glycol hence there is no toxic metabolites being produced the third toxic alcohol i'll be talking about is isopropranolol and it's also easily found in many household items such as the cleaning products and it's rapidly absorbed in the git as well isopropranolol is metabolized by alcohol dehydrogenase to form acetone which is a major central nervous system depressant due to the presence of acetone metabolite one usually has a fruity odor just like someone who has diabetes ketoacidosis they also produce a fruity odor like when you get close to them you can hear the smell the victims also experience dizziness headache confusion slowed breathing increased heart rate and even coma may occur in some situations treatment is usually through support